Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show a program to find the total salary by the department using the Java White Stream API. So if you uh, see the program, so he in this program and uh, here uh, we need to take that uh, employee name and uh, total salary of the employee. That means salary of the employee and uh, department name. So now I'm going to write that logic how we will get but before that we need to create a class so i'm going to create the class so friend here i just open the IntelliJ id and uh, created a class here so here we need to do class or either we can create uh, one class as per our choice but i created the separate for the data storing so this is the employee class and in this employee class i took that uh, three instance variable employee name department name and salary for the installing that all the instance variable here I just use constructor and so you can see this is the parameterized constructor and uh, this is the formal parameter you can see here and uh, here having that uh, public and uh, so in this program here I just use this keyword basically this keyword are used for that uh, differentiate that uh, local variable and instance level variable or we are also calling the instance variable name as a class level variable for the getting the value so here I, I just use here getter so you can see here the in the getter having the public a string this is the return type of this method and this is the method name and so similarly I just created here in the salary having that return type double and you can see salary type is the double so this is the main class and main class name whatever is per your choice you can keep and uh, so I just keep here find total salary by department and giving that uh, program number here 68 and uh, this is the main class we are also aware of this main method this is that uh, execution of the start point or we are also knowing that this is the driver of that uh, any program of our application so in this main method here we need to create the list and uh, inside that value so here I just created that list by using that arrange dot h list. So and uh, I just inside that value list value and uh, I just kept the type as a employee. So friend, this is that uh, here creating the object by using the new keyword and uh, employee cons class constructor. And uh, here you can see Rajesh Kumar is that uh, employee name and department IT and salary is at uh, 60,000 similarly I created here so in this program here I just took the simple input as a department 3 first one is the IT and second one is the HR and uh, third one is the finance so now I'm going to import that uh, list interface and which is a belong belongs to util package and whenever click here the in idea here you will get the import class and import class uh, util uh, list are belonging to three package but here we need to take that util so I just click here util and uh, array uh, it's belonging the same util package so I will use here util. so friend let me show you so here both are uh, uh, this is the predefined class and this is the list interface so this is the just uh, nothing just making the data and uh, or uh, preparing the list so this is the list of employee and uh, now we need to write the logic here so in this program here we need to find the total salary by department so if you uh, if you just read so here it will feel like that okay we need to uh, make that a group so in this list we uh, in this collection we will get here map so i will use here map and uh, in this map we need to pass here two types of the value first one value is the key and second one is that value so in the case of key i will uh, keep type as a string uh, for the name and uh, second one i will just keep here that uh, salary for the double and here i will uh, keep that map name and uh, you can see here i will just keep here total salary by department 
and now uh, here just uh, I'm going to write the logic so here we have list of employee uh, name is the employee and uh, here we need to convert that a stream so here I will use the stream method and it will return here if you uh, see here it will return that employee of the stream so here, here I will get the intermediate method and uh, a intermediate method name having that collect so in this collect method we need to uh, collect that result and uh, for the collecting the result here I will collect the result so firstly I will use that collecting that so here I will pass that collectors dot uh, sorry uh, collectors dot grouping by so in this grouping by we need to pass here that object so here I will pass that uh, department name uh, department name of the all employees so I will use call here employee and I will use here method reference and get department and uh, second parameter uh, here uh, I need to pass that salary so I will use here same collectors dot so collectors dot so here I will get that uh, summing double so I will use here summing double so in the summing double uh, you can see in the summing double here I need to pass that uh, salary so I will use here uh, employee and I will call here get salary so now I'm going to just break this uh, logic here so it will it will be good so in this collect here I just pass here that uh, department name and uh, so in this collect here we need to pass that here uh, collector so you can see uh, collectors dot grouping by and uh, collectors dot summing double and in this passing here the double and now just going to terminate this line by using that uh, semicolon and uh, So friend uh, almost logic is completed now I'm going to the print the result here so I will use here uh, so this is the total salary by the department and uh, so here I will use uh, to here I will use for each method and in this for each method we need to call here that uh, department and salary so here I will pass that parameters here so firstly I will pass here the department DEPT and uh, second one pass I, I will pass here salary and then here I will use lambda expression and I will print the result here so I will use here system dot out dot println so in this println here I will give the some message and uh, so firstly we are printing the department so i will use here dpt and uh, then i will use here plus uh, inside plus i will give that uh, colon and then i will use here the salary so i will use here salary so friend my program is completed now i'm going to run after completing the code i will post that git repository and git repository link i will uh, mention in that uh, profile of my youtube channel so you can go and you can check if you have any doubt you can reach out to me so friend here i got the result here by the department in the finance having that only one department and uh, hr having that uh, 1 lakh so you can see here the HR department 55,000 and plus 45,000 1 lakh and for the IT here you can see similarly having that IT 60,000 and uh, 65,000 so here you can see 1 lakh 25,000 
थैंक यू फ्रेंड फॉर योर टाइम एंड फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एक्सप्लोर द कम्युनिटी टैब and uh, participate in java full stack mcq question with solution join our whatsapp group and telegram group for the latest update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe